Hey gang, Zippo. Well, I had some guys ask me if I carry a bug out bag. Um, I've actually got three of them. Uh, I don't do that max edition stuff or any of that crap. I just look for what I've already got and uh, pack them with what I think I'm going to need. Uh, let's get started with this little bag. This uh, is an empty bag. It had an electronic TENS unit in it. Before I got my implant, uh, I used the TENS unit to help relax the muscles in my back and whatnot. But to make these videos as quick as I can, uh, each of these three I'm going to try to keep well under 10 minutes. Uh, in this bag, I've got a monocular. These are fire starter blocks. They work when wet. There are eight there. These are, this is a uh, rolled up sock with two uh, C cell batteries in it. The mag light with two C cells. So there's uh, spare batteries for that. This is a small Spyderco uh, bird tool. It's relatively new out on the market. And I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll go ahead and get it. It's kind of neat. It's got a few different features on it that make it kind of handy. Flathead, Phillips head, punch all, a uh, hammer with a ball peen type head, flathead, bottle opener here a file, a corkscrew, a small saw, and a little uh, handheld drill bit. So it's it, relatively handy. Um, of course, you know, you get what you pay for. I think it's like 10 or 12 bucks, something like that. But a uh, neat little item to have, and uh, it's better than just using my fingers or fingernails. So there's that. Tether cord. I like paracord just fine, don't get me wrong. This stuff's rated heavy enough that I can tie up just about anything I need to tie up. So, tether cord. A small uh, serrated edge knife. Uh, thanks to Sean, he sent that to me. Uh, Boom crew. And regular old ordinary lighters. And on this beaded chain, I've got a magnesium stick with a fursium rod and Gerber clutch, or excuse me, Gerber suspension minis. This one has uh, scissors, this one has pliers. They're uh, just like the um, the clutch. So there's those, and they're on the chain so I can throw them around my neck. they kind of heavy, but uh, I can pop these off of them in my pocket. That's a fire starter along with me, something that I can strike and, and scrape everything off the fire starter with. This keychain, the avi aviation keyring, with a lanyard to hold around my wrist if I need to, a pair of uh, Swiss Tech um, fingernail clippers that I just set in and lock down and they stay on there just fine. It's also got a flashlight on it, a pair of scissors, knife, a fingernail file, a small flathead screwdriver. And getting over to the other side, I've got the Gerber Artifact. I've got it mainly as a pry bar and small and large head screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver on the back, and a nice exacto blade, which is real nice if I'm doing some fine detail cutting on something. Then P38, so that I can get a can of uh, beans open or whatever, and a whistle. This is a, kind of a train whistle, it's all metal. So there's that. You guys are probably wondering, oh, where that bag holds a lot, and we're only in one compartment. It's a uh, bottle opener and a fork. Got another lighter. This is a center punch. It's a spring-loaded center punch. Let me find something that I can whack with it that I'm not going to damage. Here, I'll just use the magnesium. Um, you can use it uh, as a glass breaker. Just that click that will puncture through glass. So there's that. I've also got a CRKT. I forget what it's called. There it is. It's a Tabor spare tool. It's got, uh, I think it's called a warm clip blade. I don't remember. Something like that. And it also has a, a screwdriver blade in it. Flattened Phillips. that will fit through here. Also has a pry blade or pry bar. And down in this groove is sharp so you can cut uh, this. I can cut this tether cord with it if I needed to. It's also got a small file on the, on the back side of it. And it comes in a nice um, Kydex holster. Um, with enough enough lanyard on it, or enough of the 
this tether cord on it rather to uh, I think there's like seven feet on there that I've wrapped on it and that way I've got a you know, portable tether cord if I need it for something string cut, string something up so that's that these are spare blades for the artifact server artifact and uh, this is a craftsman bottle opener uh, it seems kind of odd it's got a nice flat surface I can use it as a substantial hammer uh, to use in conjunction with uh, just about anything here if I'm trying to split through a piece of wood or something to make kindling or uh, what have you. It's got a hole in it so I can put a lanyard on it, throw it up over a branch if I'm trying to string something up. So got that. I don't know why I decided to put that in there, but I'm sure it'll come to use some one of those MacGyver types of figures that to crap up. Uh, this is a sharpener. It also has a groove in it to sharpen fishing hooks and I can sharpen serrations which would be on that Winchester knife there. So, a little knife sharpener. A uh, ceramic knife sharpener, fine tuning edge. I can do that on the uh, Tabor Spare Tool. I can do that on a, a regular, uh, regular blade. This is about five feet of tether cord and it's made so I can wear it around my wrist. I have that to carry along with me. A uh, bandana that I can cut into strips or I can turn it into char cloth if I need to, if I run out of this. Um, and I keep um, uh, USA bandanas in each of my bags uh, just because if, if I'm marking my territory, buddy, it's going to have a USA flag on it. So that takes care of that compartment. Get into this compartment here real quick. Got some lip balm. The lip balm also works good on the tether cord to make it slick if you need it to be... Uh, uh, slick for any reason to get up over a branch that won't snag. This is a little Marlboro Miles uh, tool. Nothing great, but it is uh, kind of nice to have a little bitty wrench with you. I believe it goes from quarter inch up to seven sixteenths. It also has a bottle over on it and a, a chisel type blade and a flathead screwdriver. It's kind of neat to have. Uh, we're not watching time at all, but hopefully we'll keep this under ten minutes. Uh, notepad and as well as a notepad. I've got a pen and a couple of pencils and eraser. It also sharpens the lid on my drafting pencil. These are uh, medical CDs that have all of my CAT scans and all of my MRIs and myelograms and, and, and all those types of things. A paper clip. One simple paper clip in this tether cord. I can hang a drop line and do some fishing and, and not have to be there. I can bend this and uh, sharpen it with the uh, knife uh, sharpener. This is about three feet of white duct tape. You can take this and use it to mark your path um, on a branch, wrap it around. White's going to stand out fairly well, unless it's winter time and you're going to have trouble. And all I did was just wrap it around a, uh, a hard piece of plastic uh, similar to um, like a uh, rewards card from a pharmacy or something like that to get them that you put on your keychain. So that's what's in there. Over here on this side, I've got a pair of uh, side cuts, brute force or shop force side cuts. They're like two, three bucks, something like that. There's those. This is a copy of my uh, social security card and, or excuse me, my insurance card and my driver's license. Uh, in color. It's good to have just to have uh, all of my information with me if I have to lose my wallet or don't have time to grab my wallet and take it with me. Just another notepad. This is a right angle wrench and I've got two different sets of bits in here. One's got the Torx bits for working on knives and another has got the flat and Phillips bits on it and this is directional. Push it either way to tighten and loose and stuff. This is a snake bite kit. This is a small first aid kit with a rubber tourniquet, tape, betadine solution, alcohol swabs, so I can take care of a potentially infectious area, as well as some um, triple antibiotic. And that's it. All of that stuff is tucked into this little bag. So that's going to take care of the first part of my bug out bags. I made it in 9 minutes and 35 seconds. This is Zippo. Later. Stay tuned for number 2. I'm out.